Um, in the event that you are doing a group project and somebody's not carrying their weight, and so, well, why don't we just do this for them? And, or why don't we ask last year's group what they did and use their project, change the names and turn that in. And we looked up some extra things, but you know, so there's our name to it as well. That's still cheating. Um, the expectation, especially at the college level, is that you're doing independent work. Um, when you're doing group work, it's all the pieces are independent, and then you come together as a group and you pr uh, submit one project. And that means that you've done the work and the background and the research, and that's what makes it group work. What you're learning out of group work is um, teamwork. You're learning leadership principles. You're learning negotiation skills. So it's not just about the project and getting it done and checking it off your list. It's about those other skills that you will need when you move forward into college and when you move into the workplace. Well, I think it's important for students to work together. That can backfire sometimes. We can have what is called buddy plagiarism when two people are helping each other out so much they're actually basically rewriting each other's work. And that too is actually academically dishonest. It's good to have a tutor, it's good to work with a buddy, but you still have to make sure that the work is your own. Particularly when you've got the same teacher who's going to notice if two or three essays look suspiciously alike, if people seem to be saying almost exactly the same thing with just a few word changes here or there. So yes, have somebody help you out, but still make sure at the end of the day that it is your own writing and your own ideas. The buddy plagiarism, or what we would also call tutor plagiarism, is when you have a friend work with you on a piece, or a tutor sit down with you on a piece while you're revising, and you end up having them do so much of the work and so much of the revision that it really isn't your work anymore. It really sort of becomes the tutor's work. You should at least be listed as co-authors, or it becomes your friend's work. Um, a lot of times also with buddy plagiarism what occurs is you'll see an assignment not necessarily a paper where a professor will ask you to go out and do a homework assignment and you might get together with friends or colleagues from class sit down and do the assignment together but what you don't realize is that you've just turned in the same exact work and the professor is expecting unique work from each of you so even if you do get together and work on a project together unless your professor okays the fact that you're going to turn in one piece as a group you need to be turning in individual pieces uniquely written by you that reflect your intellect and reflect your writing not just one piece that's sort of cut and pasted between, between all of you. It's not okay to cut a corner because you were running behind, because you were late, to share somebody's, use somebody else's work. Um, it's cheating, flat out cheating. And so that's how, usually that's where in, in, in our discipline where we see students um, trying to help each other. I get sometimes the intent was not to be cheating, but it's what was done after the paper was shared and both of you are responsible. It's not just the student who used the paperwork, it's also the student who shared the paperwork. So if somebody asks you something like that, no matter where you are, high school or college, you wanna think about what you provide because you become complicit when you provide something and they use it, even though that wasn't the intent.